1970 Camaro here. Just making a video. I've had a couple of people ask if I'd make a video. So it's going to be a little bit of a long video because I'm going to walk around the car a little bit here. I'm going to get in the car, start it, drive it around the block, park it in my pool area so that um, I can kind of walk around it in the sun a little bit. But here's this front fender I was telling some people about. You can see they just didn't do enough work here. You get back from it and, you know, you don't notice it at all, but up front you're going to see that. And also in the driver's door, there's some stuff here you can see right there. And some stuff here in the driver's door. Again, stand back here and it looks wonderful. And then the scratch, this is the scratch that the guy made right before I bought the car. He scratched it getting off the trailer. And that, that scratch you can see from, from over here. Anyway, there's my rally cross car out there but that's not why you guys are here oh uh the door so you have to lift up a little bit here these big doors the big long heavy doors uh they just are rough on the on the hinges and so this one's drooped a little bit as they tend to do unfortunately um the dash is pretty good but you know stuff like this in the dash and uh you know down here it's not you know Needs a new glove box. The glove box is gone. Uh, they had a screw in there holding it closed. Oh, there's no reason to open it. There's nothing back there. We put the CPU back up underneath there. This is a digital dash. Um, it is fuel injected. And um, when it sits up for more than a couple of days, the uh, fuel system will lose pressure. So I just prime the pump a couple times. You can hear the pump. And then it cranks up. There it goes. All right, cold start. Hadn't been started yet. Temperature gauge is 57 degrees. Oil pressure, fuel at 31. Volts 14. 950 RPMs. Uh, this some kind of glitch or whatever i don't know with the digital system but anyway nonetheless it does this when i'm sitting when you start driving you'll see it actually irons itself out anyway okay itself seats are all in good shape I love that hood scoop that's one of my favorite things this car that hood scoop is awesome
I mentioned some chips here or there in the paint. There's some road, road wear. You know, some of these seals are bad. I keep it in the garage all the time, so I don't worry about it. The wheel wood. This up front. I'm going to turn the headlights on here.